Hello YouTube. All right, it is morning and um, looks like Hurricane Ian has been downgraded now to just a storm. I uh, wanted to assess damages and I noticed that broken tree branch right there, which actually used to be part of my tree. I think it's the tree from my side of the fence got snapped and fell into the neighbor's yard. So, yeah, that that was part of my tree that broke. Um, my shed held up. I'm, I'm looking right now and um, don't really see too much. Just that broken tree branch um, so far. Of course, I'm just now looking. More of those um, leaves everywhere with fronds. You don't really see too much at, at our place. I'll have to look at the front. Although the skirting there needs to be replaced. I did notice um, in my video last night when I was filming that um, my RV is missing the bicycles. I don't know if you guys um, recall I had bicycles that I had mounted at the back here. Uh, I used them to ride around. It turns out somebody stole them. They came over and stole my um, bicycle. So there were two bicycles that were mounted up here on the spike rack. And they are gone. So we got a thief in the neighborhood. Um, I don't think they stole it just at the hurricane. I think they stole it quite some time back. I just didn't notice that they were gone until now. But they, they definitely stole my bikes. Um, we have some small branches here that were broken. These are all branches that broke so these are um, what happened here and um, more branches here that have broken but other than that I, I really don't think we took too much damage um, I don't think we took any damage actually of course, you know, the RV probably has more leaks than that. I haven't gone in there, but yeah, this, these are new tree branches that are down from uh, the storm. This particular tree I need to cut. <coughs> I don't know if you can see this tree here that is uh, kind of leaning over. I need to cut it and um, pull it away from the house because it's, it's kind of leaning towards the house. So a bad storm could bring it down and it could hit the roof. Also, I need to cut those branches to clear away from the house. Looks like another band is coming. Uh, my wife's plants. The poor plants. Uh, the wind blew them down. Hopefully it's still okay. I don't know how I'm gonna try to save her plants here. I don't know. That's... Not really going to help much, but my wife's plants are blown down. Don't really see too much. I, I don't really see anything, really. Um, of course, we didn't get anything here other than, you know, really bad um, rains and wind. And I think the wind gusts were only about, you know, 30, 35 miles per hour. I do need to cut the grass. This is... Um, and a lot of water. I wonder how much water ended up in the, the back bucket area. I wonder. Let me, let me go look and see. You know, we, we were able to capture how much water was in there yesterday. Yesterday afternoon. And yesterday afternoon, we had approximately 8 or 10 inches of water. So, we'll look. We'll look. Um, we'll look. And see how much is there as of this morning. Yeah, I don't really see any damage here. Uh, just that tree in the neighbor's yard, they're not going to be happy with it. <laughs> I 
tree fell in there. The yard, I guess uh, they could ask me to help move it. Uh, I could try to help move it. But the problem is, I, mean, I haven't told you guys, but um, I tore my rotator cuff muscle. That's your shoulder muscle. So my left arm is like out. Okay, it went up uh, since yesterday by about another four or five inch, four inches maybe, three or four inches. So it's approximately 12, 15 inches of water in there right now. So, just lots of rain. And I gotta close this area off. We, we have a cat living underneath the house. That seems to be it. Um, just a couple blown, blown down branches and not much else. I hope uh, wherever you are, if you were along the hurricane's path, that you guys are safe and okay. And, um, you know, and, and that you didn't take too much damage, if any. And for those that are um, in um, on the west coast of uh, Florida and southwest coast of Florida, uh, those people who got decimated where it made landfall and was still strong as it started to move across the land, uh, you guys are in my thoughts and prayers. I hope um, I hope the state and uh, the nation can step in to try to help you guys recover. Because um, the, the images they were shown on TV looked really bad. Uh, everything was like underwater. So, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully when people see these images, especially those who live on the beach side, um, when they do a mandatory evacuation order, Especially when they talk about water surges that could be as high as they were, you know, like 10, 12 feet high. Um, people will evacuate, you know. It's been so long um, since we've had a hurricane here. But also, generally, every time they did the mandatory evacuation orders on the beach side, um, people would still stay. You know, because they got tired of evacuating and then it was a non-event. But in, in this case, as you can see in the Tampa, South Tampa area there, um, you know, south of Tampa where it hit, uh, it really did surge, like they said, or worse. And, um, you know, city blocks are underwater. So um, maybe people will take this as a warning for future um, evacuation orders. In the meantime, I hope that people did heed the warning and got out of there. So, those people are all in my thoughts and prayers. I want to thank all of you who uh, were concerned for my safety. And um, just um, grateful that I'm okay. Until next time, everyone, take care. God bless you all. Stay safe. Bye-bye now.